Aloha, everybody, and aloha again. This is Kathy Bilski, the Quantum Leap Let Light Unite show on UPRN Radio, and this is April 24th, 2020. How y'all doing? Well, you know, I am here stuck in Hawaii, and people ask me, gosh, you know, how is the uh, the uh, quarantine going i go well it's kind of being quarantine hawaii style where you know i can still go out for long walks i can actually take my kayak to the beach and go kayaking now you can't sit on the beach you can't you know you can go swim in the water but when you're done you gotta leave i'm good with that i get an hour on the water ouch and what's crazy and you know i'm this is the first time that I've got time to do this. I know. I don't have to get up at six in the morning to be at the ocean at seven to be back in time to open up the store at 1030. I can go out on my leisure. I don't have to rush back for anything. It's amazing. You know, they're giving out food stamps, and now I've got food stamps, and with the stimulus, it's almost like a paid vacation. Now, that's only because I can manage my money through all of that, you know, and I'm saying I'm kind of lucky. I'm blessed. I've kept my bills down, so it, I can work it out, but I'll let you know what happens in June, you know, got May covered. And with all this stuff that's going on, y'all got to use some logic here and use your brains and think a little bit. Now, in Hawaii, they made a rule that you got to wear a mask anywhere you go now. And I'm sorry, but that's such bullshit. You're going to wear a mask while you're walking and exercising in 80 degree weather. I don't think so. You're not going to be able to breathe. So do I? Oh, hell no. Do I wear a mask when I'm by myself in the car? No. If I'm walking my dog out in the country, do I wear? Oh, hell no. If I'm walking from my car 10 feet to my store, do I wear a mask? No. Do I wear one when I go to the post office? No, because nobody's there. Now, my girlfriend, bless her heart, She heard about this toilet paper deal, 40 rolls for 50 bucks. Oh, my heart, right? Uh Uh-huh. You all know what I mean. So she put on her mask and went to wherever this place was and waited in line. Now, not only did she put her mask on, but she decided to put a hanky over the mask. And guess what happened to her? Yeah. If you guessed that she almost passed out, you were right. So it took her to her knees, and now she's on the ground sitting, and what her thoughts were is, I'm not going anywhere in an ambulance. I'm going to lose my line, my place in line, and I'm not going to do it. I want the toilet paper. Okay, did she get the toilet paper? Absolutely. My point is, use your brains. You know, just because they tell you you've got to do something doesn't mean it's logical. So step back, see what you're doing. I mean, if anybody pulls me over, stops me on the street, I'll tell them. I'm not going to pass out. Nobody's here. Not going to happen. I will not 100% comply. Now, when I go grocery shopping, absolutely, I'll wear it. Because if you don't, you don't get your groceries. They won't serve you. And for all those people that are old... Well, you know, one of the perks now for old folks, and who would have thought, is that we can go early into the stores. At least here in Hawaii, they have what they call kapuna hour, and that's kapuna is another, it's a nice word for old people. So they have kapuna hour first thing in the morning before the store opens, so you get there when it's stocked. And it's clean. So, you know, you got to look for the positive in whatever we're doing. And guys, talk about 5G and do not comply with 5G. 
don't think it's a good thing because it's not. 5G is a direct military weapon. So what are we going to do tonight? We're going to focus on quantum leaping the world and into enlightenment. So we're going to start with activating the energy work for quantum leap. And then we're going to go into the quantum leap itself and remember what we want to become, what we're going to become, what we are becoming. Because guys, everything is changing. We are, you know, people are being allowed to have family life again. Actually, we're being forced into it. This is going to be a blowback on them. We're being forced to stay at home, but now we get to study and learn and do other things. And do those things we've never had time for. So whatever it is, come on, guys. You've, use your minds. Be brilliant. What's your craft? What's your hobby? Do it. You never know. Even your hobbies can turn into money. A money-making venture. Mine did with crystals. And I own a crystal store. So we're going to focus on quantum leaping. Oh, right. Sorry, I had a brain bubble. So not only are people are changing and we're getting back into family, but the earth is cleaning up, isn't it? Because not a lot of planes are fly flying, although they are still chemtrailing heavy. But there's much less pollution in the air, isn't there? So there's trade-offs to everything. And I like the idea of families coming together and being able to be able to give each other attention and moms and dads finally being able to give their kids attention. And my girlfriend told me this very sweet story where about this woman who had an 18 year month old baby. And now that she's at home, this is the first time she's really been able to give this child a lot of attention. And this child is growing in leaps and bounds. Why? Because mom is giving it attention. And good attention. Okay. All right. So while we're doing the quantum leap, I'm going to ask that you just give it a lot of energy. And as we're doing this, see it in your mind's eye happening. And it is so. And we're going to re-anchor this energy back into our timeline. All right. So, let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power, the sacred fire vested in me, I command. I call the Lord Ganesha, the remover of obstacles, to go forth and remove all obstacles in our path to divine creation. I call the Lord Shiva and Michael the Archangel to go forth and destroy all evil in our path or in the path of our creation. We call to the divine creator to allow us to activate quantum leaping the world into the golden age. We call to the higher selves of all the light workers on the planet and ask for permission to allow and activate quantum leaping the world into the golden age. We ask that their integration be gentle, loving, kind, and joyful, going all the way down into everyone's DNA. We call to all life forms on Earth and the Mother Earth herself to awaken and allow the activation and forward movement of quantum leaping the world into the golden age. We call the higher selves of all light workers, past, present, and future lives to allow us to activate and put into forward motion quantum leaping the world into the golden age. I ask their higher selves to help them remember all the joyful lifetimes they have lived in divine peace, being connected in harmony with all life forms and all creator, becoming fully awakened spiritual beings. We call to all rock stones, crystals, minerals, and all the earth keeper crystals above and below the earth 
to now awaken and reconnect themselves back to the divine and start to vibrate to the higher frequency of the divine, raising the energy and vibration of everything that is connected to the earth, to the frequency of the divine creator. Let this shift and integration be gentle, loving, and kind for all forms of life, human and elemental. We call upon the creator of the universe and ask for the permission to raise and activate the frequencies of all the zodiac planetary systems with the earth's golden leap. Ask for their permission to raise and activate the frequencies of all life forms seen and unseen in those zodiac planetary systems in order for them to focus back into their higher selves and over souls, terminate all galactic battles and leave the galaxy in forever peace and bliss. Ask for the permission to raise and activate the frequencies of all stars and planets, seen and unseen, known and unknown, existing in the past, existing at present, and to be existed in the future in our Milky Way and all other galaxies to evolve in a peace, harmony, and blissful way. Let all lives seen and unseen, known and unknown, evolve with the Creator's blessing and without consumption of materials and feelings of lack without fear, ignorance, nor curiosity. Let knowingness and mindfulness be with each and every consciousness, personality fragments, higher souls, over souls, avatars, masters, guides, and angels. All return to light now. We give the per angels permission to help all souls and life forms become more connected to the divine. See humans, elementals, and angels working together, taking care of the Mother Earth and all life forms. We call to the Creator who have all the data, past and present, and future of our personal blueprint for healing of all thoughts and memories that are blocking and holding us back at this time. We call upon the creator and ask for the permission to release all personality fragments which have become our fathers, mothers, sons, daughters, spouses, relatives, friends, colleagues, customers, politicians, government officials, and all ancestors, animals, insects, higher souls, over souls, avatars, masters, guides, and angels, all other forms and consciousness in earth and other stars and planet and other galaxies seen and unseen, known and unknown, who may have offended other personality fragments and consciousness, their family, relatives, and ancestors, seen and unseen, known and unknown, in thoughts, words, deeds, and actions from the beginning of the creation to the present and all future potentials. We ask the creator for unconditional full forgiveness and untangle all vibration and frequencies Ask for the permission to activate the knowingness in all personality fragments and consciousness. Ask for the permission to purify, release, dissolve, cut, and er erase all the unpleasant and negative memories, blocks, energies, information, vibrations, and frequencies, and transmute these unwatered, unwanted energies and information back to pure light now and it is done with the blessings of the divine we command that this activation to quantum leap the world into divine enlightenment is activated now so now let's go into what we're going and are becoming. And please, in your mind's eye, see this happening and give it energy. And this is quantum leaping the world into the golden age, divine infinity and beyond. Let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power of the sacred fire vested in me, I command. I call to the architect of the universe's divine creators and ask for permission to quantum leap the world in all life forms and all planes and dimensions, seen and unseen, connected with planet Earth, to let us go beyond our known potential 
into the greatest unknown golden age the universes and worlds and all planets have ever experienced. Let us take the best of all lifetimes, all golden ages, all worlds, galaxies, and create such a divine and enlightened planet that is even beyond the creator's imagination. Imagine the creators laughing with joyful glee on this action we have put into motion with every breath we now breathe. It's snowballing, quantum leaping forward with every moment. And everyone, every time anyone hears this energy work, see it amplifying over a hundred thousand fold, creating a higher resonance with the creators and the architect of universes. See the blissful information and energy of heaven surrounding earth like a golden shimmering rainbow of colors. See this energy anchoring now to the planet, all life forms, elemental kingdom, angels from the lowest of consciousness, life forms, any trapped and stuck entities, any aliens from other worlds, the reptilian king and queen, all their seeds, including all hybrids, anyone practicing any kind of black magic, voodoo and black witchcraft or Santa Maria, all the way up to the most enlightened beings on the planet, none excluded all included as this energy settles and in seeing everyone's integration gentle loving and kind going into everyone's dna soul memory and dreams as all life forms dream and create let them dream of all the times they lived in the golden age where there are plenty of everything Everyone is using their spiritual psychic abilities for many different forms of divine creation. No one lacked for anything. Functional families where men and women live side by side in divine harmony. Lots of laughter with everyone practicing compassion, joy, kindness, and love in action. See these dreams being brought into physical form. Anyone who chooses not to go forward into the golden age and tries to stop this prayer from movement, I ask their higher self and spiritual teachers and guardian angels to step in, put them in a position of harmlessness. We ask the creators to give them special grace and unlock the doors in their minds that are keeping them from connecting to the higher frequency of light. Release all that which are holding them back. I ask all the creators to close down the reptilian part of the brain and open up the divine God brain filling them up with whatever high vibration is needed to shift them so everyone gets to go into the golden age, leaving no one behind. Send these beings and entities whatever vibration, sound, color, and memories of being connected to the creator they need so they gently evolve into the light. The creator and the higher selves and the angels know exactly what each one needs and are sending it to them as we speak. See us propelling ourselves far into the divine golden age, way beyond the creator's wildest dreams of a golden age planet. Angels, humans, elementals, and extraterrestrials working together, all veils removed. So everyone's psychic potential is being developed and put into practical practice. Families putting love into action and becoming divinely functional having everything they need when they need it. The elderly are honored for their wisdom and, are, and teach the younger generations. People become awakened spiritual beings practicing religious tolerance and the positive aspects of their religion. See us working in one with beings from other galaxies and planets who are just delighted we are quantum growing into enlightened beings and giving us all the new tools, ideas, and technologies on how we can make this a more joyful, functional, enlightened planet, taking us beyond our divine potential. The earth is also being treated with much respect. The old ancient cultures responsible for taking care of the planet sharing their secrets and beliefs as everyone listens with open minds and hungers for their knowledge, using that knowledge with wisdom. 
All sacred knowledge of all natural healing methods are put into practice, including all tools made out of stones, light, sound, energy, and vibration. Enlightened beings growing healing herbal gardens. Everyone is being taught the sacred teachings, path of enlightenment, and truths. All knowledge flows freely. Gifts in music, the arts, sports, and intuitive are encouraged and allowed to be developed. Enlightened politicians and elected officials that tell the truth, acting for the benefit of humanity with limited terms of service, eventually replaced with wise local elders. The earth is a healed being at one with all life forms on her. Everyone so tuned into the mother earth that they can hear her sing, her sighs, wherever she needs light, become aware of every move and groove she needs to do, allowing her to do so and move out of her way with grace and understanding, like people do for the fire goddess Pele in Hawaii. When she needs to flow, the interaction with all earth and all life forms is gentle, loving, kind, and conscious. Organic food abounds. Chemical-free, clean, pristine water, earth, and sky. The sun and wind are harnessed in true solar fashion. Tesla's idea is an invention of free energy being created with all walks of life benefiting. People living in joy for hundreds of years if they choose. And when it's time to make transition and is done with much joy and understanding of light evolution. Everyone, all life forms going beyond their highest potential, their divine highest potential. We ask the creator to fill in whatever we have left out to taking manifesting quantum leaping the world into the golden age far beyond our dreams and imaginations into the creator's thoughts wishes and dreams we ask that all who are manifesting the quantum leap be given all they need on all levels complete protection and be put under bubbles of invisibility so they are hidden from the dark side as this divine idea flows outward See all walks of life coming together in harmony and of one accord. Each, each person and group remembering their divine missions and what their parts are in quantum leaping the world into the golden age. Putting it now in action. Let all the divine sleepers awaken to their divine missions and their divine purposes now. As always, we put this in your hands, our architect of the universe and divine creators. Propel us into doing what your concept of the divine golden age is. Inspire us, guide us into doing not our will, but thy will be done. Now. Let's take a deep breath, and as you exhale, feel this energies go out to the universe, all around the world, touching all life forms. So now we're going to create a bubble of light, and in this bubble of light, we're going to put in all life forms, and we're going to ask Michael to cut ties between any darkness that's being directed at, on any life forms, any satanic energy overlays that's around the planet. We're going to call the violet flame, anchor it in the center of the planet and see it go outward, cleansing, purifying all negative energy. See it go all the way out toward past the morphogenetic grid. and beyond now we're going to call a golden solar angel down and we're going to have that cover all the pyramids and see that flow into the 
ley lines, the grids, meridians, into the morphogenetic grid. And let this be an energy, this golden solar energy, an awakening of conscious energy. And see everyone, this energy touch everyone on the planet, raising, quantum leaping us into divine enlightenment. And we're going to call to the creator and ask that everyone's higher selves and everyone reconnects to the creator to become awakened spiritual beings. And that the creator sends special energy down into our DNA. So we can hold the light. And let this integration be gentle, loving, and kind. And let the light workers fill up with so much light that they're magnets now for everything they need. Other people to work with, their divine mates. Let them magnetize to them all the abundance they need to live a comfortable life and to fulfill their divine missions and to help have more than enough where they can help others. Now let's send energy to everyone's heart chakra. And from there, see it go and spread through the, the body and go to wherever anyone needs it and let there be a healing. We're going to call to everyone's higher self and ask everyone's higher self that their divine blueprint for perfect health is activated now. And let that integration be a gentle, loving kind. Now we're going to ask the creator to activate everyone's divine gifts that they were born in with, that they were born into, and let them magnetize to them everything they need to develop those gifts. Now we ask the creator to activate everyone's divine blueprint for abundance, for divine abundance. And let all this be activated in our bodies and let this activation integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with our cells, our atoms, our molecules, all our internal organs going all the way down into our DNA. And now let's send everyone joy. And as we're sending them joy, we're also going to call the earth energy to Mother Earth to send some of her grounding energy up. So everyone feels it. Everyone starts to pull back in body. And they become centered and very clear headed where they can see clearly and consciously what is real and what is not real. What is dark and what is light. You're then given the divine inspiration. On what the next step is and how to move forward. All right, let's fill this bubble of light up with light and love, and we're going to take a deep breath and release it. And give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So we're going to create another bubble of light, and in this bubble of light, we're going to put the new world order and everything and anybody that has anything to do with it, including the Illuminati and all of that gang, the secret societies, Anyone who worships Satan. And we're going to ask Michael to come and cut this energy from the planet. Command the angels to go forth. 
break up their plans, see the new world order plans falling apart, see people removing and not allowing 5G into their countries and taking down all the 5G equipment, see people refusing vaccines. See the new world order plans falling apart. We're going to cut ties between every, all of them, between each other, and see them pulling their own energies back to them, taking it off anyone or anything they've tried to manipulate. Cut ties between any oaths and vows and curses that they've taken with each other against people or themselves. And as that energy is pulled back to their bodies, it allows them to become themselves, to become who they really are. And if there is a lot of infighting now because of all the egos in the new world order, so their plans fall apart, and let it be done. Let Trump and all his minions and the Nazis be tied and bound. No more forward movement. Again, let New World Order energy. Agenda 21 and 30. See all that falling apart. Any magic that they put out there so this manifests. See that magic being dissolved by the violet flame. So their magic turns to nothing and falls apart. We're going to place a mirror around the earth. So any out of balance frequencies including anything coming from satellites up there for 5G. See it going right back to the that energy. Hit that mirror that's around the Earth and go right back to that satellite, to where that satellite breaks down, knocks it slightly out of orbit so it can no longer function. See those satellites becoming magnets now for space junk, and that space junk, Gently knocking it out of order so they also no longer function. And if satellites got to come down, see them coming down where no one will be hurt or harmed. In your mind's eye, see the governments now. All who have put satellites up there start taking them down. And if that means we got to go back to landlines again, then so be it. We can do this. We've done it before. We can do it again. And as that energy is cleared up off from the planet, that dark energy, let's re-anchor divine enlightenment. And see this divine enlightenment energy so strong that it puts us back to the on the timeline of a quantum leaping the world into divine enlightenment. All right, we're going to fill that one up with energy and we're going to take a deep breath and release it. <sighs> And I give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So this is it for tonight, guys. Um, we're going to close this energy work, and I want you to do three ohms with me. Oh, come on. You can do it. Nobody's going to hear you. Oh. Oh. Om Shanti 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 
May all the beings in all the worlds be happy. So be it. And I give thanks for this opportunity to serve. And I'm going to ask that anyone who listens to this recording, because I know you can't watch it because, sorry, it's not visual tonight, that this energy work is amplified over 100,000 fold and anchored to this lot timeline. So we're back into the quantum leaping the world into enlightened timeline. That's not much to ask. So I think next week we're going to do some chanting, guys, and really go back to anchoring divine enlightenment to this timeline again and keep doing it. You know, if we don't do it now again, when are we going to do it? And for those of you that aren't quite sure if energy work matters, well, it does. And we did have a quantum leap and one that I was really brought to my attention not too long ago. And that's one of 5G, you know, the direct military weapons. A year ago, nobody cared. Nobody really heard about it. They heard about it, but they weren't really conscious. And now people are talking about it. They're understanding microwave, direct military. 5G is not good and it's trying to kill us. It will kill us. Cancel clear. That's a quantum leap of consciousness. So what we do matters, guys. You know, and it, when you're not doing anything, <laughs> um, you can chant. May divine enlightenment descend on the earth now. May divine enlightenment awaken within the earth now. May divine enlightenment descend on all life forms now. May divine enlightenment awaken within all life forms now. You know, the more we chant and call divine enlightenment down, it's going to happen. It's like the hundred monkey theory. You know, when that hundredth person hypothetically hits, and I don't know what that hundredth monkey point is, we will tip and quantum leap big time. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to go through all this crap that the dark side has planned with 5G radiation, radiation from Fukushima, which we're all, all already being blasted with, or vaccines, or whatever else they have planned for us. I don't accept it i will not comply and we may not get together in big groups guys like we did before which i don't find is um i find interesting that nobody on the planet can now go out and protest huh how about that but we can still do energy work and we can still do energy work like this So, you know, get a group together. You can do it on Skype. You can do it through Messenger. Keep doing your work. Get a group together for next week so we can do some chanting. Get your crystals out. That's what God has given the light workers to amplify our work. And it makes a difference. I'm... I'm you know, God allowed me to be the caretaker of a thousand pound crystal and a 650 pound crystal and own a crystal store to amplify my work. But then I share it with everybody. So if you want to do more energy work during the week, connect with me on Facebook, but send me a message that it's you. So I make sure accept your friendship. And I try to do it on Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. So tomorrow we're going to be doing another one. Two o'clock Hawaiian time, eight o'clock Eastern time, and five o'clock um, Pacific time. No one said enlightenment was going to be easy and that we didn't have to work hard for it. So let's just do it and get it over with, okay? I want my grandchildren, my great grandchildren, to have a good life. Don't you? I want to have a good life. What's left of it? 
there's gonna be a lot left. Anyway, thanks for joining in and giving this energy, and I hope I've given you a lot to think about tonight. This is Kathy Bilski, the Quantum Leap Let Light Unite show on UPRN Radio, and this is Friday, April 24th, 2020. Be safe, be conscious, think, think, question authority, question authority. On that high note, aloha, guys. See you next week.